Hello everybody, I'm Hyrule Gamer, and welcome to another The Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild video. Today I'm going to be talking about some recipes in The Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I think are very useful for the early stages of playing Breath of the Wild, and that will help you along your journey at the start of the game, and just throughout the game in general. Before I get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new for more The Legends of Zelda Breath of the Wild and future Zelda content. So, to start things off, I'm going to start with something nice and simple. Now, this is a combination of two raw prime meat, which I believe the, the only animal you can get them from in Breath of the Wild is a wolf. That's all I know so far, you can get them from wolves by killing the wolf. And one Hyrule herb. Hyrule herbs you can find just lying about Hyrule and you can just pick them up. This will give you steamed meat, which will give you four hearts. And there, if you notice, there's a little five at the, on the first heart. I don't know what this means yet, I've been trying to figure it out but surely it means something good. Now I think it would be a good idea to stock up on these as you'll need these to replenish your hearts as there's no heart containers to replenish your hearts. So you're going to need to stock up on a lot of food and I believe something that replenishes four hearts will be very useful for the early stages and sort of mid throughout stages of Breath of the Wild. Now this next one is a bit better than the last one and this is a combination of five apples which you can just find lying about in trees and that's pretty much it I believe. You can either chop the trees down and collect the apples once they've fallen off the tree or you can climb up the tree and collect the apples. Now what, all you need to do is just hold the five apples and put them in the pot once it's lit obviously and this will give you simmered fruit which will replenish five hearts. Now I believe depending on the amount of apples you put in will depend on the amount of hearts but apples are very easy to find. You can pretty much find them on most trees I think and you can cut them down within a few hits depending on if it's an axe or a sword you're using and this is a good thing to stock up on as well as the last one but this one will replenish five hearts so this is maybe more for once you've left the Great Plateau and got on with the game a bit more it'll be good to stock up on some simmered fruit and I definitely know I had quite a lot of simmered fruit at the sort of start of the game being towards the first Divine Beast but I'm not going to get too much into that sort of spoiler material there but I'd say it's a good idea to stock up on this as well as the first one this next one has more than just replenishing hearts, this also has a sort of special effect at the end. So this is a combination of three peppers, one Hylian shroom and one Hyrule bass. The peppers can be found on pepper plants which are commonly actually found next to cold areas because they help with that which is kind of weird but at the same time convenient. A Hylian shroom you can just find near trees and forests and stuff like that, pretty easy to find just like apples. And one Hyrule bash you'll find them in water, like rivers, lakes and ponds, you can just shoot them with arrows, throw spears at them and just take them basically. Now what you'll get from this is a uh, spicy pepper seafood. Now what this is going to do is it will only give you two hearts, but it will give you 8 minutes and 30 seconds of cold resistance, which is very, very essential if you don't have warm clothing for going up certain cold areas. Now some cold areas, your warm clothing isn't even enough to handle, so that may improve on how much, how quick you lose your hearts or even might protect you from losing hearts if it's that cold that just the clothes alone will not protect you. Now I'd say it's essential to carry at least maybe 3 to 5 of these around as there will be cold areas in Breath of the Wild which you will need to explore I guess if you want to 100% the game but you don't have to but I'd say these are pretty essential for exploring when you come across a cold area you want to travel up it you don't have the essential stuff such as food or warm clothes so if you're carrying these around you can just take some and you'll for five of them can take you up to over 20 minutes of sorry 40 minutes even of lasting in the cold which is incredible if you stock up on them so I'd say that's why it's a very useful recipe to have and to know and to have the actual food. This next one is also one which has a sort of low heart replenish uh, but it does have a sort of special effect as well to go along with it. So this is a combination of two Hyrule Bass, one Hyrule Herb and two Blue Nightshades. Now you can find the bass as I said in rivers, lakes and ponds. Hyrule herbs you can just find around the world and blue nightshades is in the forests I believe you can find them. It's, I believe it is just woodland areas by trees and stuff like that you can find them. They're not as common as stuff like mushrooms and apples I believe but they are pretty easy to find if you're just looking around. Now what this will result in is a sneaky fried wild greens. Now this is good in the sense that you will need to be sneaking around quite a lot in Breath of the Wild especially for stuff like ambushing the codling camps or any enemies really that are in camps 
and also sneaking up on horses so you can tame them because you can't just approach a horse I mean, unless you have incredible stamina to catch up with one or to keep up with one and get on it and try and tame it then this is a pretty good thing to have because it gives you 5 minutes and 30 seconds of boosted sneakiness and I think that is really essential. I wouldn't say it's as essential as cold resistance but it is pretty essential I'd say to have this as there's a lot of hard enemies that you might want to sneak around. I know I've definitely sneaked past quite a few enemies, mostly ones in camps but I have tried to avoid guardians when I've seen them but I've also took a guardian out which is pretty cool but also very hard and I got pretty lucky but I'd say this is a very essential thing to have and I think this is one of the most important ones on this list to have out of the ones that are giving you special abilities. We are now on to the last one. Now I didn't actually have time to get the video footage for um, making this one because the ingredients were a bit hard to find but the combination for this one is a hearty or hearty, however you want to pronounce it, radish, a big uh, hearty um, radish, sorry I was, I was just trying to figure out how to pronounce it there but I'm really bad with pronouncing that one, plus a rock salt. Now what this will do is it will give you the hearty salt grilled greens, or greener, I'm not too sure. but. Um, what this will give you is full recovery for your heart, so no matter how many hearts you have, it will give you full recovery, plus 8 non-replenishable hearts. Now, if you don't know what the non-replenishable hearts are, it's the yellow ones there you can see flashing on the screen, it's basically just tell me that's what I'll get if I eat it, and non-replenishable hearts are just ones that once you lose it, you can't replenish it basically, but full recovery, so if you had, uh, say, 15 hearts plus 18, you're going to have a lot of hearts, at, um, basically that's... And another way of getting these non replenished parts is by getting the comfortable beds and inns and stuff like that, but this is a great way to get them and I thought this was worth getting a mention even though I didn't get the footage for cooking it. Thank you everyone so much for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like down below and also if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more future The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild content and Zelda content. And until the next time, I've been Harrow Gamer.